In late May 2024, the discovery of a new faint dwarf galaxy was announced, located in the midst of the constellation Hydra. Initially named DW1322M2053, it was found that the galaxy is located about 2.41 megaparsecs or about 7.86 million light years away from Earth. It was also found that this galaxy is incredibly isolated and lonely, as there are no known galaxies within 1 megaparsec or about 3.3 million light years from this galaxy. For this reason, it has been named Hedgehog, probably because a hedgehog with sharp spines is also lonely because people want to stay away from it. Hedgehog itself is a fairly normal dwarf elliptical galaxy. It's about 1,150 light years across and shines with the overall brightness of 740,000 suns. It has a stellar mass of 630,000 suns and assuming an average stellar mass of 0.4 suns has about 1.6 million stars in total. It is slightly elliptical and would be classified as an E2 galaxy. Hedgehog is not forming stars, indicated by the lack of ultraviolet emission and its reddish color, suggesting an old stellar population. Hedgehog is slightly small given its luminosity, but it's still consistent with observed mass-luminosity relationships for small dwarf galaxies. Models suggest its main stellar population is 5 to 7 billion years old, and a younger stellar population between 0.2 to 1 billion years old may also exist. As the Centaurus A group is the closest galaxy group to Hedgehog at 1.6 megaparsecs, or about 5.2 million light years away from the galaxy, Hedgehog may be a backsplash galaxy from the group, as in it has been inside the group before on an elliptical orbit which has taken it further away from the cluster where it is now. If this is the case, it could have been quenched, which means all of its gas was used up in star formation when it was inside the cluster several billion years ago. This is consistent with the estimated age for its main stellar population. Or maybe Hedgehog has always resided in the void between galaxy groups. In which case, reionization, the period a couple hundred million years after the Big Bang, where the whole universe was forming stars at an incredibly high rate, is the best reason to explain why it has been quenched. Or it could be due to interactions with gaseous filaments in the cosmic web. Isolated dwarf galaxies are known for having complex stellar populations, and more observations and models of them are needed to fully unveil their formation and evolution. As for Hedgehog, more detailed observations are needed to uncover its exact star formation history, and radio velocity observations are needed to judge whether Hedgehog is a backsplash galaxy or not, as backsplash galaxies tend to have lower velocity dispersions as in less variation in velocities of their stars compared to the stars of void inhabiting dwarf galaxies. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more space content.